Hi everyone, it is Gail. I am here with another Junk Journal Friends uh, page that I'm documenting in my little five ring binder here. And this uh, page is from Michelle. And Michelle sent me a wonderful happy mail. I do have a video that where I go through everything that she that she gifted me. So um, I have worked a little bit to prepare a few things for her page, but um, so I'll kind of go through that. She sent me a stack of Edith Holden pages, and I love this one. It's the kind of the first page of the book, and so. Um, I just five hole punched it and then uh, Michelle had sent me these adorable napkins with the birds on them there's like four different birds on the napkin and I used one of the little birds and just decoupaged it on there so I did that a little bit ahead of time um, and so I'm just gonna pop that into the book and then um, the other thing that I did ahead of time was Michelle also sent these, um, oh, what are they? Piano rolls, you know, from the old player pianos. And um, Wendy at Wendy's Journal Adventures did a tutorial on how to make a pocket tag with these. And I thought about doing that, but then I thought, oh, I want to see if I can kind of just do my own take on it. So um, I made this tag. I can maybe get it up to the camera a little bit out of it. Um, this was a tag that I had done the brushos on, and so it had a pink background. And um, so I Mod Podge the player piano piece on it and making sure to get some of these little holes so the pink would show through there um, and then and then the words. And then I used this napkin that Michelle gave me to just decoupage a little bit. And then I just used a little leaf stencil here and there. And so I think it made a really cute tag. So I'm going to include that too so that I can sort of pay homage to the um, to the piano roll. So I'm going to put that out of the way and these napkins as well. Um, then let's see, what else? Um, Michelle had sent me a lot of note cards and envelopes and I decided with this note card I was going to attach it to this page right here. I thought the black went nicely with that. So this, this is going to be Michelle's spread right here. So let's get started. Oh, one thing I was going to tell you, this book is getting so, so fat. I couldn't even work in it. So look at this. I took out all of these pages, all of these pages that, um, Diane Shaw, who I bought the book from, had put in there. So what I have, um, one of the Better Homes and Gardens garden journals that I am kind of using for myself. I think it's going to be my third book <laughs> of, of friends things because um, I just, I just, you know, when you start adding to it, you just can't keep everything. So I'm going to put these in there and then we're going to just continue well I can continue on but I wanted to show you how many I had to take out because as it is even with that the book is still really full and um after we do Michelle's I have I have two more to do <laughs> so so yeah I had to I had to pare down a little bit so anyway okay well this is gonna I think go together pretty quickly I'm just going to um glue on this note card here because we know we want to do that um yeah doing things ahead that take me a while is is kind of a good way to do this i've decided to kind of just plan things out and and then be able to put it together you can watch me put it together but it's done fairly quickly and so um and um like making this tag there was no 
no mystery to that. It was just, it was just Mod Podge. It was decoupage, basically. Um, Michelle sent these couple of beautiful eyelash trims too. So I definitely, oh, this one's got, this one's got a little washi tape in it. <laughs> um, I definitely wanted to use them for the um, tag topper. So let's see if we can find the end right here. Perfect. And find some scissors. And we will just get this tag topped. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna love using this eyelash trim. And I don't have either of these colors, so that's just awesome too. And yeah, so so nice. Yes, Michelle had sent had sent the happy mail as a as a get well. And I'm a working on it, Michelle. <laughs> it's one step forward, two steps back kind of, but um I had a rough couple days, but you know, today I'm better and so I'm in my craft room. It's kind of a vicious circle because when I can't get in my craft room, I almost get depressed. And so <laughs> And so then, you know, just mentally, I just feel not great. This is perfect. Look at this because I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but the words on the piano roll are blue. So this works perfect. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. That's right. I'm thinking this is going to go over here, but you know, we can, we can see. Um, this is the card that Michelle sent me. And so my thought was to put it here. And so that little birdie shows, and so I I like that idea. Um, um yeah, so anyway, I'm doing good. Um the, the, on let's see, on Monday night, today's Wednesday, on Monday night, we had the banquet where my husband was honored as a distinguished educator, which was super cool and lots of fun. And um, but it was, let's see, what was it? We, it started at five 30. We got home at nine. So what is that? Three and a half hours and there was crowds. And so, you know, I'm trying to make it through the crowds with this arm in a sling. And, um, and I had PT that morning, which kind of kicks my tushy. So, um, yesterday I didn't get off the couch basically is what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, no videos, no nothing. I, I just couldn't do a darn thing. So so anyway, but I'm back amongst the living today. Okay, this is this is about the piano roll. Um, but it's such a cute note, I really wanted to keep it. So I don't know, maybe maybe I'll stick it over here and just so that pink shows, right? And that kind of just gives one more layer there. Okay, this is the envelope that goes with the note, but I don't think I'm going to use it, but that's going to be a fun one to use in something else. So I'm going to set that aside. And then the other thing I was thinking of doing with this beautiful paper is I was thinking about doing a Hermelinda tag, you know, um, and there may be some of you that don't know what a Hermelinda tag is. It is just named after Hermelinda Aguilar who, on YouTube, who kind of came up with this idea. So, um, so yeah, I thought I might, I might do that. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and cut here. I think I want it to be about this thick. So I'm going to see, we'll see how straight I can go. Okay. So I'll set that piece of paper aside. And, um, I don't think I went very straight. <laughs> That's okay. We can trim her up. We can trim her up. That's okay. Um, so now I'll just go back and get this somewhat, somewhat straighter. And, um, so yeah, yeah. So you just fold the piece of paper and then you fold it like this and you cut off your tag edges like that cute right and then um and then usually put a little something on on this first 
tab here. So see, then you have all that room to journal. But I thought that might be cute. Yes, I really do like that with the with the bird. So what do we want to put on the top? I was thinking, um, excuse my arm. I've got these. I've got these pink doilies. That might be kind of fun. Um, just to just to put on there and okay. And I think I can also now um, put Michelle's envelope away. Give myself a little more room to maneuver here. So. This isn't really wide enough for this, but that's okay. We're going to just, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, you can still see the flowers. What I was looking at is I didn't want to cover up all the pretty flowers. So maybe we want to just do, maybe we'll just fold it about here and then not to go down quite so low with it and it's a little lower in the back but that's okay actually let's cut this off and then and I'll have a little pink doily to use in clusters or something okay so we'll get this glued on here okay and then I'm gonna go a little bit around the edges too just to just to have it a little bit tacked down on the edges too okay and then just I'll lay the tag in the middle ish. And that doesn't look pretty because <laughs> it's hanging over, right? Oh, I gotta get it a little centered a little bit better. That was not didn't get it centered quite right. That's better. Okay, so then you just press it down and then I just go back in and trim off those edges because that's just not going to be pretty the way it is. Okay, and I'm going to toss those because they have glue on them, otherwise I'd save them. But Okay, so that's cute. So now we just need a little something to top it. We could, let's just, um, I usually use like crochet doily or something, but let's just use a little, a couple little bits of the uh, eyelash trim that she sent because tie it into the other page and I just want to use the things that she sent me, so. Okay, so I'm just going to use my Tim Holtz and we'll just staple that on there. I can get it, get it centered and see if I can Okay, so there's that, but then I want to put and this won't be something that Michelle sent, but that's okay. Let's see, what, what did I do? Right here. So you guys, little, little, uh, this is a little storage hint along with the, with the page. Um, this cute little uh, cosmetic bag, jewelry bag, whatever, my daughter gave me for Mother's Day. And she said, oh, mom, did you put your jewelry in the little bag I got you and I said no I, I put ephemera in it <laughs> she just laughed she's like oh my gosh mom 
Yeah, so, but I love it. It's uh, It fits all my little Prima flowers. And then um, at the bottom here, I put some of the bigger flowers. And then up here, I have some crocheted flowers. So, yeah, so it's actually really fun. I'm wondering. Yeah, I like that little crocheted flower. Let's use that. So, anyway, adapt, you know. My family gives me something for the re other part of my life, and I turn it into something for crafts. But isn't that cute? So it just lives in my little box that um, has all the stuff to make ephemera. So, yeah. So we're going to use Fabri-Tac on this and just get a big old glob of that on there and stick that down on the tag and then we are to the point of I think I'll just stick that in here so I have my kind of have my parameters and I'm thinking about um, Michelle's name you know where to put that I was thinking maybe down here but to do it over here too, like up here. And I do love the Edith Holden writing, so I think we'll go up here with it. So do we want pink? Is that what we want? Probably. Um, you know what might be kind of fun is I have this Kool-Aid dyed paper. That might be kind of fun. And um, I've been using the one die, but I got a new one. My Stampin' Up! order came, and this came, and I haven't used it. So let's use this one just for fun. <laughs> the uh, Kool-Aid dyed paper is so crinkly, it doesn't really want to go in there. So I may have... Oh, there we go. Maybe. Come on, go in there. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm just going to line up the bottom then. It's going to be stubborn like that. Gosh, Stampin' Up! makes a nice punch, don't they? Okay, yay. So, did that. So, let's then get my pan. And... Just gonna get Michelle's name on here. Ah, shoot. She only has one L in her name, I'm pretty sure. Is that right, Michelle? Yep, only one. So, don't know if I can turn that over. Nope, it bled through. Okay, well. There you go. Here's the hiccup for this time. So let's just punch out a new one. It's funny that I didn't remember that right off because I have a friend that spells her name that exact way. So, okay. Let's try it again, Michelle. Oh, this paper went in better that time. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Let me look at the envelope. Okay, I would have spelled her last name wrong. Michelle. Ah. Uh not beautiful. My sling gets in the way. Um, does she have two teeth? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm sorry. I hit it with my sling. Oh, it's a trial. <laughs> oh goodness. I'm trying to keep my sense of humor, but I'm telling you some days, uh, yeah, that was good for that's good for a while, but we're working on week four and this is 
Let's just say I'm almost over being over it. <laughs> okay, so I think I want something in the back of it. Oh, I'm so not happy with how our name came out. I'm going to try it one more time. Sorry, guys, to be obsessing about this, but, um, you know, it's going to be in my book for a long time. I don't want it to, to look ugly. So what I think I might do is I'll punch this out and then what I think I might do is whether I'm in frame or not I'm going to get it in a comfortable position where I can where I can write decently. Okay, third time's the charm. Good, good, good. <laughs> oh, so, I feel like I want something to back it, though. I wonder my other punch, is it bigger? Nope, it's about the same size. So, then I think about this guy. There's a little, maybe it's a little too big, but... That's okay. I think I'm going to go for it with this guy. Um, if I can find a piece of paper, that is going to be a good color. How about this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then put that in the corner. Yep, I like that better, don't you? It's not so blending into the background. So, today I head off to PT again, but not until the afternoon. And I like that because then I can get a few things done in the morning. And then I can ice and rest it and whatever the rest of the afternoon so I was kind of excited that the appointment fell that way today so I'm gonna try to do at least one more of these videos and then I'll be able to have a couple days worth done or something or I'll post them all that's what I usually do it's like yeah, I get them done I just post them okay okay that's on there and that's there and that's there and Michelle I loved all the things that you sent thank you so much and these um piano rolls are going to be real fun to play with. I, I just, I think that tag turned out really good. I really like that a lot. So that might be my favorite thing on your page. So, so, and hope the Herma Linda tag helps some people who've been asking about that. Um, yeah, I feel like that needs a little something right there. I wonder if there is in her sack. Let me get her... She had some really cute little note cards. I was wondering if there was one that would fit sideways right there that would be... She sent the airmail. Oh, that's going to be fun to play with. So, oh, this one's pretty, isn't it? But it won't fit. Need something smaller. What's this one? Ooh, this green butterfly might be cool. Kind of set that in there like that. Yeah, I like that. That finishes that off a little bit more. And I know it's there if I want to use it for another project or whatever. Yeah, I think I'm going to add that one there too. 
And then they're in there and I know they're there and these ones will go with my other note cards that I have in a drawer. So, so awesome. Well, thank you so much, Michelle. And I hope you like your page and thank you everyone for watching. Um, like I say, at this point, there'll be a couple more of these coming. So thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.